Hi and welcome to Light Wolf Yoga. So today's session is all about giving our bodies and our mind a real opportunity to unwind after a long day. So we're going to get started in a comfortable seated position, however that might look for you. We want to lift and lengthen through the spine and just come to rest the hands on top of the knees and we'll turn the palms upwards. So we're going to start with releasing some tension from our neck and from our shoulders here. So closing the eyes and take an inhale and just gently shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. And as we exhale, letting the shoulders relax down and away. Take a few more breaths like this. We'll inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Exhale, drop them down and back. And one more, just like that. We'll inhale, shrug, shoulders up. And exhale, drop them down and away. Keeping the spine tall. We'll take an inhale here, and then just to exhale, we'll bring the right ear down towards the right shoulder. And letting the head hang. We can quite often, without even really realizing, hold on to tension in our jaw or in our eyes, scrunching the eyes tightly shut or frown on the forehead. Just completely soften the facial muscles. Feel the left side of the neck beginning to open. Take an inhale as we come back to center. And then exhale to drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. The right side of the neck opens. Head is hanging. We're not forcing the ear anywhere. And keeping the breath nice and slow, nice and deep. Inhale back to the middle. And exhale, dropping the chin all the way down towards the chest. Feel in the back of the neck stretch. So this is a really nice gentle sequence for the neck and the shoulders that's especially beneficial for anyone who spends a lot of time maybe at work on a computer or even if you spend a lot of time using your phone you can put a lot of tension and uh, weight through our head and cause problems with the neck and the upper back. So from here, we'll slowly lift the head all the way back up into a neutral position and realign the spine. We take the right hand now down off the knee and bring it by the side of the body. We'll inhale, reach, and extend the left arm up towards the sky. And as we exhale, we'll take the left arm over towards the right. And so this session is all about being kind and gentle on the body, you know, not overdoing things. We want to keep our central nervous system in that mode of relaxation. So just being aware of that as you move through different stages of the pose. If you do want a little bit more, you could crawl that right arm further over. Maybe eventually, if you've got the openness, taking the forearm to the floor. It's important though that that opposite hip, the left hip on the side doesn't lift. Keep it grounded into the mat. And just take a few nice deep breaths into that left side of the body. Feeling it expand and open with every inhale and exhale. Let's come back up, press down through the right hand. Bring the left hand by the left hip and inhale, right arm all the way up. And as we exhale, gentle side stretch towards the left. Maybe if you want a bit more, you could walk that hand away. Possibly bringing the forearm down. But main thing is that you feel nice and relaxed through the pose, not, not strained. A couple of slow deep breaths into the right lung. And we'll press out. Pushing through the left hand to bring the right hand all the way back down. We want to walk our hands forward from the sides and out in front. Seated fold here. Can we inhale, lengthen? And exhale, pad the hands forward and it, it doesn't matter how far they get for you, just take them as far forward as you need to start to feel a nice stretch through the glutes and into the back. And when you're there, can you just kind of melt down over 
over the mouth, relaxing the whole of the body, keeping an eye on the breath, the slower, the deeper that's moving through the body, the better. And we'll gently walk the hands all the way back up, back up towards the, the body, towards the legs, and we build the spine nice and tall. Okay, so we'll, if the legs are crossed, uncross them, give them a little shake, and then just massage into the knees. Twirl the ankles as well, just give them a little moment to readjust. And then we're going to take our legs into cobbler's pose position, so the soles of the feet are together, the knees are out to the side. And we'll take our hands around the feet to draw the soles in, nice and tall through the spine. We'll just gently butterfly the knees up and down, nothing too dynamic at all in our wind down today. But like the neck and the shoulders, the hips are known to store a lot of tension. So they're going to be our main two areas to focus on. Relax the leg. Take an inhale, grow. And as you exhale, bring the head forward. And then tuck the chin in towards the chest. And drop the head towards the feet. And hang and breathe here. See if you can imagine all of the muscles in the body right now just turn, turning off. The body is really allowed to fall into this pose. If you're comfortable with the eyes closed, we'll keep them closed here and really, really focus in on the different areas of the body and how they feel. And there'll be some parts of the body, much more than others, that are really experiencing this. Find the area that's really working for you. See if you can breathe into that space. And start to feel tension. Start to feel tightness dissolve. More and more with every passing breath. I'm going to take three releasing breaths here together. With these breaths, we'll breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's go twice more. Inhale, breathe in. And let it go. One more breath, nice and deep. Breathe in. And let it go. With that exhale, slowly begin to roll all the way up. And back into a regular position through the spine where we'll take the soles of the feet flat onto the floor with the knees bent. And just for realignment of the back, we'll drop the knees to the right side, turn the head to the left, and go the other way. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, knees to the left side, head to the right. And then we'll come back to the middle, feet on the floor, and vertebrae by vertebrae relax the spine all the way down onto the mat. So the left foot stays grounded here, and we'll bring the right knee in towards the belly and give it a nice big hug and a big squeeze. Feeling the belly rise and fall against the thigh. And that's going to massage into our abdominal organ. After a couple of breaths here, we'll take the right leg and draw it out towards the ribs on the right side of the body. Just giving it a little squeeze in here. Inhale to the middle. Now can we take hold of the outer right ankle and place it on top of the left thigh? Straight line running from the knee through the ankle. And we'll keep on flexing those right toes. Taking the legs up, thread the right hand through the gap there and clasp both hands behind the back of the left thigh. Keep on flexing the toes as we inhale, feel the body expand with the breath. And exhale, draw the legs in towards belly and chest. So this is a nice release from 
this part of the body, your outer hip, to the thigh, pretty fullness muscle. Let's take another couple of breaths. We'll inhale, grow. And exhale, compress. One more breath, nice and deep. Inhale. And exhale. And with the next exhale, place the left foot back down onto the floor. Unthread the hands, and the arms nice and wide. And we'll drop the knees to the right side and turn the head to the left. Inhale to bring the head and the legs back to the middle. We'll change this up. We'll bring the right foot down and the left knee into the belly and the chest. And take a few slow, deep breaths in and out of the belly. So helping to flush away any toxins. Helping just to calm and balance the whole of the body. And then in turn, the mind. We'll drop the left knee into the elbow, just give it a little squeeze out to the ribs, nice for the hip. And then we'll take the left ankle and we'll bring it atop of the right thigh. Knee and ankle align, flex on the left toes. Bring the legs in towards the body, grab on behind the back of the, the right thigh this time. And breathe here as we inhale. And we exhale to compress. Another few breaths. If we can go deeper, we'll inhale, open. And exhale, compress. One more breath. Keep on flexing those left toes. Inhale, open. Exhale, compress. And release. Nice and slowly. The right foot down. Arms wide. Palms roll upwards. And we'll drop, knees to the left, head to the right. When you're ready, coming all the way back up to the middle. Release the legs, bring the knees into the belly and the chest. Give yourself a nice big squeeze, a massage on the spine. And then allow yourself to fall into a well-earned Shavasana.